The Keith Post's final print edition in 2019 will cover the main events of the decade. Our reporters will provide in-depth coverage of Ukrainian politics, sports, culture, business, as well as world events. We're here in the morning in the newsroom, so while the Keith Post team is gathering, I'll review the highlights of the decade, starting with the year 2010. Early in 2010, Viktor Yanukovych, the twice convicted felon who tried to steal the presidential election in 2004, became Ukraine's fourth president. Immediately after coming to power, Yanukovych started to move Ukraine into Moscow's orbit, abandoning NATO membership from the country's foreign policy goals. In 2011, Yulia Tymoshenko, the country's top opposition leader and the prime minister in the previous government, was jailed for seven years on charges of abusing her power. Tymoshenko insisted the trial was politically motivated. In 2012, Ukraine co-hosted the European Football Championship with Poland. Tens of thousands of international football fans came to Kyiv, Lviv, Kharkiv, and Donetsk. In November 2013, the massive public demonstrations known as the Euromaidan started. Hundreds of thousands of protesters demanded that Yanukovych turn away from the Kremlin and sign a landmark agreement with the European Union. Yanukovych said no. From the onset of 2014, the protests in Kyiv intensified, and in February, security forces cracked down, killing more than 100 demonstrators. The following day, Yanukovych fled the country. In response to the Euromaidan, Russia invaded Crimea and started a war in eastern Ukraine that by now has killed nearly 14,000 people. By 2015, Russia's war against Ukraine was well underway. The battles for Debaltseva, a critical transport hub, saw some of the fiercest fighting. 110 Ukrainian soldiers were killed in just one month. On July 20th, a high-profile journalist, Pavel Sherimet, was killed by a car bomb in Kyiv city center. Sherry Met was an executive editor at Ukrainska Pravda and also worked as a radio host. After several rounds of negotiations, the EU finally approved visa-free travel for Ukrainians in 2017. In the two years since then, almost three million Ukrainians have traveled visa-free to the European Union. Russian Coast Guard ships attacked three Ukrainian Navy boats in the Kerch Strait, connecting the Black and Azov Sea. The three boats and 23 Ukrainian sailors, six of them injured, were taken to Russia. In 2019, comedian Volodymyr Zelensky won a landslide victory in the presidential election, beating incumbent Petro Poroshenko. Zelensky promised to make peace in Ukraine. On September 7th, Ukraine and Russia carried out a prisoner swap. Each side released 35 detainees. For more highlights from the decade, please check out our final print edition of 2019. And do also please subscribe to us at KeithPost.com. On behalf of the entire Keith Post team, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.